Yeah, uh, thanks so much, Ashley. The, uh, my fear is it's not just the police chief, it's everybody. There was a lack of leadership there, and then so many times law enforcement goes above and beyond. This way they seem paralyzed by fear. And uh, guys, uh, Tim Kennedy, who's got a, a book out just on his remarkable career, former Green Beret, who's done so much, including help out in Ukraine, he talked about the whole defund the police movement and how it played into the lack of action in Texas. How does it make any sense that I'm going to provide this group that I want to protect us with less training and less funding, but then still want them to be a better product to be able to protect us? We have been weakening them and we have been making them ill-equipped to respond to that. And then I think Uvalde is a great example of not properly trained with broken systems that are not ready to do the right thing. And uh, we will have more of that unless we get them the right training and we get our schools to become hard targets. And then we go upstream to the origin, the genesis of these problems, which is mental health with the individual. There were 19 law enforcement officers standing outside in the hallway of that classroom for 77 minutes. And my question is, when you talk to the chief, did anyone, any of those officers call the chief and say, chief, we think it's a better idea not to wait out here. We need to go in. There are children still alive on the other side of that door. And were any shots fired off by the suspect when those officers were there? They got there, I think it was 19, it was 19 minutes after the gunman went into the classroom and started shooting. So while they were standing outside, was he still firing off shots? Could they have saved lives if they had gone in? That's the question. We do know that there were the 911 calls of the little girl in the classroom asking for someone to come in, asking for help, who repeatedly called, and uh, and she was later found dead. So maybe they would have had time. I don't know if that 911 call was made within those first 19 minutes before officers got there. We all just have a lot of questions. There's going to be a press conference tonight. The mayor of Uvalde will be talking to the press. Yeah, it's just heartbreaking. The big question is why did they wait?